Gunshots echo through the halls of the Transcoast Logistics Center, as do screams. And Digna here has managed to sleep somewhat throughout her first evening here. Yet those sounds have kept her awake, aware, and to fight the biting cold, she's piled up a load of clothing from her now dead again colleagues. It's filthy, stinks of blood, and that strange black goo that leaks from the bodies. Yet it has kept her warm. The injuries on her arms, they're still there, tender and sore to move. She will have to be cautious this day, but caution can only take her so far. The screams of the other lab technician, well, they fell silent a long time ago. She doesn't want to join him. Digna, it's time to get up. Kia ora, Legionnaires, Rikon here, and welcome back to Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead and to our short survival series, where Digna is still battling a cold and the cold that surround her and her existing wounds from the previous episode, narrowly escaping some of the dead down here. Yeah, it was way too close. Now, first of all, you might notice that, yeah, throughout the night we've had lots of screams and lots of things going on. We have reapplied our bandages throughout the night, but one thing that we're not noticing is webs and sludge. Uh, that was a bug, but I feel like it was a bug that fit within the world that we were in currently. That psychic disturbance seemingly has fallen silent. That's good. That's something. And we did actually have a kind of comfortable sleep here. We're in an okay mood. We can see that we got comfy and we were comfy for quite a while. So that's a, a, a bonus. We are very hungry and we are thirsty. We're going to go over towards these cabinets here where there are some drinks. We're actually going to start off with the energy drink just because I want to have a little bit of extra get up and go this morning. Uh, we have already drank all of our cough syrup because we needed it to kind of fall asleep. Uh, we might also have some of this, uh, the creaming soda. It's not good for our health. Maybe we should be having the V8 now that I think about it. Because yeah, we, we're not tasting much at the moment because of our cold. Yeah, still thirsty, huh? Let's go have some of the mineral, mineral, mineral water. There we are. We're hydrated now. Fantastic. We can see that we have had some calories today more than we did yesterday and really all things considered we're doing okay yeah we're a, we're a bit cold the bandages on our wounds aren't as good they're getting a little dirty but they're holding for now if we could get some more bandages that would be great we might just have to revisit the healthcare section to to pick up a few things but what i want to do before we go any further is kind of decide really really what we want to have on us and if it's going to make sense for us to have it on us. We are going to want to keep the ballistic vest for now. I would hope that we're going to be able to find more protection for our arms because our arms just got messed up in that last encounter. And yeah, there is more that we can explore on this level here. We can also explore the ochre doors up here, but really, other than a few tools, we weren't getting too much out of the ochre hallways. I mean, in saying that, like these sections here, they seem to be good. We still haven't opened up these doors because we heard a lot of activity. Uh, we nearly cleared this area out. I'm tempted for us to go back down there and see if we can with our bow staff. Supposedly with the bow staff, we stand a much better chance by, uh, I think it's like moving in to attack. So standing around doesn't help us. I think it is moving, uh, but I will double check that before we actually do go in and start fighting. But yeah, we're going to go through everything that we've got and I'm going to see if I can drop a few things off that we don't need. Like we don't need to be holding onto the string right now. It isn't something that we need to have with us. We can come back for it if we want to and I think that's fine. So allow me a moment here. Okay, I'm feeling pretty good about everything that we're dropping off here. We are dropping off some of our tools. Uh, we probably want to try and keep the ethanol with us because we can make pretty easily Molotov cocktails if we do have extra uh, bottles. I think having one Molotov for now is fine. If we want to make more, we can do that. Um, but yeah, I'm, I, I'm happy with that for the moment. We are going to go and chuck back on the filthy gear though. So we're going to get that headlamp on and we're also going to go and put on the tan ballistic vest here just so that we are a bit more protected on our chest region and then having a look at our arms our hands are okay currently surprisingly enough warmth wise we could get the rubber gloves back on 
for a bit of extra warmth and I feel, yeah, we'll do it. We will do it. We should be able to wield our staff just fine now because our arms are looking good. Yeah, you position yourself in an agile stance. So what we can also do with our, our martial arts here, let's have a look for more info. We're gonna go F1. Uh, rolling staff, okay, while armed, we've got the Bojutsu stance, which uses our dexterity. Hooking disarm, we have the feint. Rolling strike, focuses on maintaining a good stance to effectively block and counterattack. See, in my mind, that makes me think that planting our feet is better than constantly moving around but then again we do get effects on the side here that pop up occasionally so skilled striking target strike points that allow for more damage increases the base an agile stance allows you to block and reduce incoming damage okay so i think as long as we keep on moving like if we kind of just hang around here for a while i want to see if that does go away i mean no we've still got the agile stance there um but I imagine after we get hit once, maybe not so much. We'll play around with it in combat and we'll try and figure that out, really. Do we want to put the hard hat on as well? Hmm. We could do it with a little bit of extra head warmth. We have our, our turban on at the moment. Let's put the hard hat on. And, yeah, we seem to be able to do that okay. <laughs> so that's our kind of rudimentary protection that we've got going. We're going to be leaving this sewing kit behind as well because we're not going to be doing any kind of crafting. Not, well, not right away. And as for the food, I guess we could bring some quesadillas with us. Yeah. And then as for the water, the pale ale, that'll stay. But we'll take the tea. There we are. Okay. Well, Digna, let's keep on going, huh? I think we are going to head back down here first. Um, I'm going to keep in mind that I do want to get some more bandages, among other things. But how are we looking down here? Also, I am just going to be looking at these bodies again with fresh eyes to make sure that we're not missing anything that I think is fantastic. We do have our hacksaw with us, so we can try to hack our way <laughs> into the, the back here, which... I, I think I think that is something that we are going to want to have a look at doing. Okay, so far so good. Solder down here. And yeah, we've got one more door that we haven't opened up yet. I'm not hearing anyone yet. Let's use the winch. Give it a second or two. I mean, so far so good. Um, let's go to our headlamp, eh? So we're going to make this F. There we go. Okay, oh. Right, I see. And we've just got a metal grate here. Walkway that's used for covering drains, or even a filter. Nothing to smash, okay. Right, well, back down here, we had wire, we've got a wood saw, and I, I'm still intrigued to see what's going on with these. If it's ferals, then they'll be able to open the door. If it's just regular zombies, we can open the door and we can close it again afterwards. I'm pretty sure we have heard shuffling coming from inside here. Only one way to find out, right? Yes. Okay, let's peek through. I mean, that's just concrete floor. Peeking through further, it's a ramp. Okay. Hmm, let's close it again, quick, fast. We're definitely hearing activity through here, and it's shuffling. So that makes me go, hmm, okay, that's not a feral. That's definitely, oh, we just saw a hazmat zombie on the on the other side there. Aha. And so, obviously, just kind of going back in time here, we did manage to get to the surface, but we have uh, turrets up there that I'm concerned about. We might be able to try and use Molotovs on them. Um, I also, I don't know how effective it's going to be. I think I want to try and start by going up this ramp and seeing where that takes us for the moment. It is also strange that we have this kind of big open area here. I think that that probably leads into this space. It's, this is all maintenance. So we could just be looking at like tools potentially. I want to be ready to run like right away. Okay, I mean, like, that's all right so far. What are we hearing up here? This is lab residential zone that we're in at the moment. 
Yep, let's, let's use it. We'll peek out here. And just like below, it's kind of the same deal, it seems. So we probably do have security drones up here as well. Yeah, okay. Okay. So we could see out onto this level, but we weren't able to get onto it um, from the little uh, med lab that was over here. Hmm. Okay. Oh yes, and thank you to everyone that was reminding me that these wheelchairs here, they're foldable. So we can actually take them up and down the stairs should we desire. And that might be something that we desire. Um, oh boy. Yep, definitely activity happening back over that way. Let's just check the other little utility closet that's down here before we carry on. We just had a light turn on. Okay. Uh, what do we got? What do we got? Um, okay, soap bar and a glass jar. We'll keep that in our minds. As we make our way up and around. Okay, that's a skitterbot. Okay. Yep, let's get moving. Let's get moving. Uh, both of them are coming for us right now. Oh, we need to use this. Come on, quickly now. And there we go. All right, so immediately we're seeing mil spec searchlights. Also, uh, the skitterbots might be able to open the doors. I, I really hope not. Uh, the searchlights. They don't seem to be attached to any turrets or anything like that, but we do have gun casings. We have bullet casings up here. Mm, yeah. And across the way, we have a magenta zone card reader. And just to remind you all where we're at with this, we've got green, we've got ochre, and we've got yellow. We also have the visitor pass and just these two industrial ID cards. Uh, let's stop running and we'll stay moving on over towards what I think is going to be a residential area. Although, ah, we can't get into it from this side specifically because this is all going to be reinforced. Yeah, it's ballistics glass. Damn. Okay, but yeah, we can see down into, that's the maintenance break area. Okay, so having a look below us here, um, that'll be where all the other maintenance workers are at the moment, in this little area here. And that'll be their break zone. Okay, so do we have anything that we can actually access on this level then? Just the ochre door that's on the other side, huh? That looks to be the case. So I suppose we'll start to make our way around there. I will double check that we don't have any access points at the corner. Both of them, magenta. And magenta is a different kind of security it seems. So we've got yellow downstairs, yellow security, but we haven't had access to magenta yet. We have been up on this level here, um, but we didn't go all the way up here because there were two security guards that were hanging out that were gonna be a problem. Yeah. Okay, and it's just searchlights over the other side. So this is the only door that we can go through at the moment. Uh, so if we have skitterbots in here as well, mm, okay, we don't. We've actually got double doors to the side, which is different. Um, I'm gonna leave this door open for now. Yeah, okay, do we have someone shuffling? We do, we have a technician. All right, might be worth us still checking out this room. So I think we're probably going to want to kill this technician. Let's start to try and lure them out and away. Okay, we quickly strike them there. Uh, let's turn and run. And we'll strike you. Okay, so we've been grabbed. And immediately as we got grabbed there, we managed to block all the damage with our staff, but we dropped it to the ground. And I think the reason we dropped it was because it grabbed our left arm. You're too stuffed up to fight effectively, and that's because of our cold. Great, cool, cool. Um, something else that I've been informed of recently with grabs is that if we actually wait a turn or two, it'll give us a better chance to break the grab. And there we go. We managed to break it. It did manage to get a little bit of a bite or a little bit of a hit on our right arm. We're going to get a bit further away here and we're going to try and see if we can get out our meat cleaver. Because that's done us pretty well in the past. I, I would love to use the bow staff, but we need to get back around this thing to be able to do that. Yeah. Let's let it get closer. Okay. There we go. We did take a bit more damage there than I would have liked. That hard hat might be in better condition than the one that we're currently wearing. Indeed it is. So we're gonna get over, we're gonna close this door first of all. Um, let's get this pipe staff back in our hands. Thank you. We're going to take off the old one and let's go for the new. Excellent, okay. Gonna keep our light on for the moment. 
step back into here. All right, they were alone. Um, I have just turned our light off because there is light in here. Let's just wait a while, catch our breath. We're not hearing any other activity around us at the moment. That is a good sign. Uh, we've got a broken skitterbot over here and we've got large storage batteries. A storage battery case. And we've got two different doors that we can go through. A broken nurse bot. Please, nurse us back to health. Okay, so it sounds like we've got someone to the north of us and maybe someone out in the corridor. Interesting, this doesn't go anywhere. Okay, so do we have shuffling? Yeah. I am very concerned that we're just going to lose our melee weapon again if we end up fighting up close. Um, we're kind of just getting whittled down at this point. Because the other thing with being grabbed is that if we try to break the grab, we often drop things. And it would make sense that we would probably drop our bow staff, huh? Um, we could try like an opening volley here and just see how that goes as well. I just want to have a look and see what we got going on down there. We could also just have a quick rundown and just see if we activate any skitterbots or anything like that. If we do, we just get out. We just, we just go. Looks like we've got another kind of ramp situation on this side as well. So it could go down on the other side. I doubt it would go up. What have we got over there? Vinegar and a dust mask. Okay. Heading around a little bit further. On this side, what have we got? What we're hearing, people. And, oh, we've got a green card. Uh, thread. Yeah. Okay, green zone card reader. Green zone. So that's for the living area. Hmm, okay. Uh, I mean, we're not hearing anyone there right now. Open this gate. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it opened all the gates? Are you kidding me? Seriously? Well, I mean, it's leading us further up. Which is kind of what we want. Can I close this gate? Is that something that I can do? Ah, uh, damn it! We can. O the only option is to. The only option is to open it. Um. Okay. We just have to get upstairs now, and we've got our light off currently. Why are there rocks around here? And there's blood. So we probably have a feral of some kind, right? Let's stop running. Okay. There's just a ramp leading up. Technician hasn't followed us yet. Oh god. Okay. That's not good. That's very bad. So, in the corner, there is a automatic machine gun. Right next to us is a tough zombie. Nearly dead. A fat zombie. Nearly dead. A zombie. A regular zombie. And a broken turret. Is the turret hostile towards us? It can't see our current location. It is immobile. It is hostile. If we can run to the corner, if we can get into the darkness, we might be able to avoid its fire. However, there is a chance that we could become hit by it. We're going to run. We're in the corner. The tough zombie is right there. Uh, we are also seeing two turrets, I believe. Cannot see our current location. Uh, yeah, it definitely says two, right? But we're only seeing one. Maybe that's just its marker. Okay, well, let's swing. Okay, immediately the pipe staff tumbles to the ground as the tough zombie grabs us. Bad, that's bad. It's not gonna take us long to grab the meat cleaver. We get it into our hand. Okay, it's not gonna take too much to be able to kill the dead that are here. We are lucky that they've already been damaged heavily by this turret. Okay. Staying in the corner of the room, the turret is unaware of us. The fact that it's hostile is concerning. This thing should be able to identify that we have the correct identification to be here. The real test is if it could see our current location. So, do we want to try and use a Molotov to take it out? Ideally, if we could knock that light out, it wouldn't be able to see us. And we'd be able to navigate on over towards this, but if we open the door and there's lights on the other side, it could just open up and just tear us into pieces. It's got 556. Five, uh, there is a broken one that's up the top here, so there could be ammunition that's around. Okay. Ha. Huh. That's a lot of 
decent equipment, riot helmet and everything. The wooden tonfa. Oof. I want all of that equipment. Although, most of it's poor fitting, right? The tack vest isn't, the holster isn't. The helmet's good. Can we get that stuff and get down? Big, maybe. You know what? I wouldn't mind just trying to smash the bodies that are here. The ones that we can actually reach. And we should also see, have a look on the ones that are around us. Just, just what we have available uh, to us at the moment. So we can see a makeshift crowbar on that zombie. Interesting. Okay. What else do we have? Duster, some jorts, a restaurant guide. Not really anything all that helpful. I want to try and get our pipe staff back into our hand. We'll put the meat cleaver back away. And um, yeah, I'm just going to kind of take peeks like this and just see if it can see us. I'm also thinking there is a small chance that this, um, I mean, it could be dealing with light blindness. I don't think it is in this instance. Yeah. Let's smash this body. I'm just terrified we're going to get torn to pieces. We've got a first aid kit here. Excellent. Okay, we're going to take the adhesive bandages now just because we are very limited in what bandages we have available to us. And there ain't nothing else. Um, I mean, we could always take a little bit of extra antiseptic. I am okay with that. Peeking over here. The light situation isn't any different. Okay. Smash and smash. And there's just, yeah, the one that is close to us that we haven't been able to get to just yet. We got some linkage up here. Ammunition. There's a Swiss army knife, which, sure, we will take that. And that's all that we're going to get from you. Okay. Now. Yeah. You're the one that I'm interested in. Expandable baton as well. You do have a stun gun. Sig Pro magazines. Okay, but no pistol. Not from what we've been able to find so far. So your ballistics vest might actually be better than the one that we're currently using. Just because we've got compromised plates in our current one. So we're going to very carefully start to undress down here. Taking off the ballistics vest first. Well, let's just actually sort things. Take the stuff that I know we are going to want. The holster is potentially useful. We'll see if we can fit that onto our belt. The cut resistant arm sleeves, if they're poor fitting, I don't think they're poor fitting. It just says filthy. So that could help protect our arms a lot. The cut resistant gloves would be nice, but they are poor fitting. So we're not going to go that direction. Police ballistic vest. We'll shuffle that across. The riot helmet, the same deal there. The tack vest, we are going to take across there as well. I think that's where the magazines are or what the magazines are in. There's also a police duty belt. So we'll have a look and see what is on that and if there's anything that we actually want to take with us. The tomfa and the expandable baton and the, the stun gun. The stun gun might be something that we could use on ferals, but I'm not feeling super confident about that i'm also pretty sure we can't use it on turrets <laughs> so yeah the duty belt is the baton some springfield rounds the flashlight and the stun gun all right well we're going to see if we can get some of these other things on let's start off with that tack vest okay and now i want to go for the police ballist ballista no just the police ballistic vest uh we can see the average uh, coverage is a lot better um, the bash cut and pierce protection is much better than the uh, the light one. And I guess it's because it's a light ballistic vest and not a tan light. I thought it was like a light tan color. <laughs> I was incorrect. And let's go and wear those cut resistant arm sleeves. Yeah. And then we're going to take off our helmet. And we're going to wear that riot helmet. Which is going to cover our arms a little bit here. So let's just have a look and see where we're at. We, we should also try and put on the holster as well and see if that will work out. Um, so right now it's really only the first scarf and like the right helmet and the turban that are intersecting with the, with each other and kind of causing uh, a little issue. Because the right helmet at the moment, I think we can activate it to have it lift up and down. So let's just go to the right helmet for the moment and raise the visor. Maybe we shouldn't be doing that while we're you know staring a turret down, but. <laughs> we did get something out of this, much more than I was actually expecting to get, which is great. 
I'm just trying to figure out if there's any way we can kind of get this to work for us. If we light up the Molosov, I'm kind of also afraid that it will instantly be able to just, you know, cut us into mincemeat. I mean, we were standing here before, and it wasn't able to shoot us. I'm afraid that we might have to enter the ramp from that direction to be able to go down as well. So the only option here might be the Molotov. Although the only issue with the Molotov is how far we can throw it. And I don't, I don't think there's any way we could throw it far enough. We're just wielding it for the moment. It's not lit. Let's just see. That is not far enough. Not by a long shot. Put the Molotov back in the tool belt for now. I'm intrigued to see if we might be able to put our knife in the holster for now. So let's just go insert and we'll put the meat cleaver in there just because I want to have quick access to that. So if we have a look at our meat cleaver now, 41. So it's about the same as the tool belt. It's fast. Okay, so how am I going to even remotely attempt to do this? Well, here's what I'm looking at. As we move up and down here, we can see the dark squares shifting. So even though this looks like it's light, it is still considered dark. So I, I think we just, we, we're going to have to try here. And I can't just go down, right? No, we're going to have to go over to the side and come back. So we run the risk of getting just cut to mincemeat here. And there ain't much that we can do about it. I am racking my brain here to think of another solution out of this. And I'm sure Digna's doing the exact same thing. Uh, but unfortunately, she can't just like jump over that. She has to go from one side. I, I know, it's dumb. And this might mean death. But even if we went back down immediately, as soon as we got up here, uh, we we would still be looking at the same situation because we'd have to go out into the square. For now, let's drop the visor. Oh, we're good. Okay, that worked. Ah, that was terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. <laughs> and we've still got a zombie technician here. Uh, okay, we might not have to deal with you if we can kind of just speed our way around you. I will want to see if you are damaged at all, because unfortunately we're going to have to go through all of the technicians. Yeah, you're not going to let us, are you? Okay. Yeah, that's decent. Struggling to stand. We're going to run back. Man, we are not fast, huh? It is slower than us. Oh, we, we just... We just managed to trick it upstairs. <laughs> it went up the ramp. It could very well be fighting the turret now, for all I know, or trying to get towards it. Honestly, I don't care. I could care less. And the dead are fighting things right now. So let's go back the way that we know that we can. And just hope that we don't run into anything along the way. We're keeping the visor down for now. We are hoping for the best. Uh, okay, we could open it up. Is it worth it? It would lead us into a residential area. I mean, we've already got doors open here, huh? What's the worst that could happen? Let's turn our light on for a moment. Oh, it's ramped down. Okay. And we haven't actually been on that side down here yet. Although I guess the residential zone isn't super fun. We might just have to start trying to make our way through the, the back roads. Or alternatively, we try the Molosov route on the stairs. That's also an option. I'm kind of leaning a little bit more towards that right now. So light back off again. We know that we can go through that door. That's cool and all. Also, these doors didn't open. It was only on the other side. So I guess that's good to know. Okay. <sighs> good to be back out here. Yeah, wow, fantastic. Um, okay, so we need to go back around towards the other side. And that will allow us to go back downstairs. How wonderful. Don't mind us turrets. Well, I say turrets, searchlights. They're activating and they're working like turrets though. And I'm also hearing a lot of noise that I don't like. So we're just gonna keep our light off for the moment. Scratch that, we're not. 
I don't know where the skitterbots got to. I think they just kind of went around the side. Yeah, and okay, we came up the ramp here, huh? Yep. Let's go back down. Oh boy. <laughs> what a day we've had already, huh? What a time. What a time. This is fine. Up through here we go. Wonderful. And high capacity battery. Wow. The drones have a lot going on. Okay, but look at us. Look at us. We're better equipped than we've ever been before. Brilliant. Really, really good. Uh, I'm not so concerned about the head encumbrance. Well, I, I am. I Actually, I am. That is a bit more than I would like it to be. Let's see if we can do without the turbine for now. Um, Warmth-wise, we might be looking okay. Seemingly, yeah, looking better. I mean, the first scarf and the right helmet, they're causing us problems at the moment. Can we do without you, scarf? It is currently loose, so that's best that we're going to get it. That's better. We'll keep it uh, with the rest of our equipment for now if we can. Seems to be okay. We're just going to make our way back up these stairs. And I think we're going to try and see if we can throw a Molotov at a, at a turret. You know? Because that's, that's great. Oh, we're just hearing so much activity. Jeez, stop resisting. Okay, um, right, so we don't have any lights turned on at the moment. Oh boy. Oh, we can we can see one just like right there as well. So there's, there's one there and there is also one down there. We're pretty sure. I don't want to step through that door and find out. I mean, we can peek, but also this is maybe, I don't think it can get an angle on us. And we could also do this as well. It's right there, it's right there, it's right there. Okay. Yeah, no, nah, no. Nah. <laughs> as courageous as Digna was feeling but a moment ago, there are other routes that she can still take. Yeah. How confident do we feel about going down to the security area again? Not very. I mean, we are hearing some activity there. Okay, we do have a security guard right there. I'm still feeling okay about fighting one of them at a time. Let's just wait. Yeah, it's just the one. Oh, okay, you going back in? Hi, wasn't expecting that. Here we are. All right, pipe staff tumbles to the ground immediately. Wonderful. Give it a second, try and break the grab. Wow, that that was not great, not great. Our arm is feeling bad. Man, the staff is not working out for us. We drop it way too easily in combat, and I think that might be a change, or it might be a sign of things to come. We're gonna have to be much better at melee to be able to hold onto our weapons in melee, and it might kind of get to the point where if we're gonna be in melee, the only option for us is to use ranged weapons, which is not great. What I should have maybe thought about doing was having a look at the batons and seeing how they stack up um, against the, the the knife, the butcher's knife that we're using. We could also just try and get rid of the security guard by now by kind of running them down into here and seeing if we can lose them. That's not a terrible idea. I'm not opposed to doing that. So let's see if that's going to be remotely possible because darkness can most certainly be our friend. And I think we're going to attempt that here. God damn it. Come on, we are faster than this, Digna. We, we should be faster than this. The cold, I think, is slowing us down a fair amount. Our cold, that is. Um, yeah, no, we can't, we can't outrun this cop. We can't outrun this cop. Even though, yeah, you're about as fast as we are now. That is not great. Got the meat cleaver out. Okay, this is life or death now. What was a controlled fight has uh, gotten out of control quickly okay we managed to take it out we need to get over we need to close that door right now man so quickly so quickly things can go bad okay did you at least have an additional card for us took us a while to catch our breath there 
doesn't look like it so far. And uh, no, no, you do not. You do have a pretty decent cash card on you, so we will take that. Um, man, the pipe staff was so great, but it's really starting to fall for us. Um, we're too weak to wield it right now as well, with our right arm as damaged as it is. So, I'm not opposed to us using a um, Molotov down here. Let's see, look, we've got another security guard right away. If we could somehow get them to all hang out around here, hit them with the Molotov, that would be grand. And you know what? We might be able to do that. We're just going to stand here for a bit. We're going to yell and just hope that a feral doesn't make its way over. I, I le legitimately jumped in my seat then. Um, okay. Here's what we're going to do. We are going to get the Molotov out. Just so we're ready to go right away. I don't think these doors have been opened yet. No, they haven't. Okay. Peek out first of all. Oh boy, they're all there, huh? Okay, well, I guess we're doing it down by that door, aren't we? Activate the Molotov. We light it up, we peek around the corner, and we're going to be looking at throwing that thing right down there. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm not surprised it hurts. Digna, run. They've got to come through the fire to get to you. So, oh my god. Now, the ethanol must have been coating the outside of the bottle somewhat because as Digna threw it, it slipped through her fingers and it shattered on the side of the door, spreading its fire out everywhere. Thankfully, not on the square that she was on. The dead are coming for her now, but thankfully again, I think we can make it away here before it gets really bad. Oh boy, they are burning up. We can see that Digna was already starting to feel the heat in there. That's another dead. And we've got the security, the feral security guard trying to make his way through now and seemingly struggling to do so. Oh my God, it's working. It is working. Amazing. Hot damn. Okay, whoa, 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 there's still so many of them down there. All right, we need to, we need to get their attention. While this fire burns, this works in our favor. Come on, keep on coming. Um, they are shooting out towards us at the moment. There are so many feral security guards. Unreal. But with just determination, they file into the fire, dying one by one, burning up. Uh, and, and yeah, they can shoot us from here. We do need them to be able to see us. For them to be compelled to try and make their way forwards. But one unlucky hit one lucky hit for them and we'll be gone let's yell again come on this is our chance to clear this up oh this is damaged up here so if there if there is anyone on the other side they have done damage to that uh okay there we go we got clipped let's make our way on over here stand behind the ballistics glass because then at least i think we can try and get its sight yeah come on come on come into the flames why don't you? All of your colleagues did. Why are you being the smart one? Let's go back down here. We'll yell. We'll knock on the wall to try and get their attention. Come on, buddy. Into the fire. Into the fire. I can't see it anymore. But we can hear them to the north of us. It might be dead. Might. Are we in a condition where we can run away? Ooh, I can still hear a lot of noise down there. Okay. We need to take advantage of this. What? Because the fire's not going to burn forever. It doesn't have material to keep on burning. Uh, we might have just been hearing the burning, though. For all I know. Let's turn on safe mode, just so we can pass turns effectively. I mean, we're seeing right past into there now, and I'm not seeing any. So, I'm going to... I'm going to say I think it's okay. We can also just listen to hear what these sounds are. Thumps. So they could be thumping on that door from the inside, from the stairwell. Um, I think we want to have our meat cleaver ready. Okay. You are still alive, you bastard. <laughs> you absolute bastard. It, this is just Digna versus this one determined security guard now. 
We need to get his attention. Come on. Just over this way, mate. It's where I need you to be. It's yell. Why are you being smart all of a sudden? The thing is, we can take down one security guard. If it's just the one guy, we, we can definitely do that. But I'd rather we let the flames do it for us, you know? Okay, Tors is starting to get quite warm. <laughs> so let's back on out. I know I'm being extra, extra cautious here now, but it's because we're so close. We just need this one guy gone. Safe mode's still on. Torso's getting warm, even from over here. The fire isn't spreading, I'm pretty sure, and it, and it shouldn't, because it's concrete. I want you to see that there is a way to get to me. And I know that that's going to be dangerous. What if I just wait here? We hear click. Click means that you are out of ammunition. Come on. Come on. We feel our feet getting warm there. Let's make another Molotov, huh? Yeah? That... Or we just throw something directly at you. We start throwing knives at you across the fire. Because that fire, unfortunately, is starting to die down. It's just small fires over there now. Oh, combat pistol. AR-15! And it's okay! Because they must have been wearing something fire resistant. We'll go with that. We will go with that. And Legionnaire, I hate to do this to you. But we are going to be leaving things here for today. This episode has meant a lot for Digna. We have gotten new equipment. Albeit stuff that's covered in blood and guts and mess. And her arms aren't looking so hot. Yet, we have firepower. Quite literally firepower. We might need to make some more Molotovs to get out of here yet. We just took down a whole security force. Very nearly. There is one that is left. That is staring at Digna across those flames. With a little bit more intelligence in his eyes than the others that were with him. It is a battle of wits, and Digna still has hers. I ask you all, if you enjoyed today's episode, please consider leaving a comment or a like to let me know if you enjoyed the show. As for now, I have been Rykon. You have all been awesome. And until next time, stay tuned. And finally, I would like to extend a great big thank you to the Legion on Patreon, who continue to make this cataclysmic content possible.